Hi guys, remember the other day we set a competition for you to join us at Warner's, mm. the Warner's show on the 6th to the 8th of September. One was for a full day, full weekend's camping plus entertainment ticket and one was for two people to enter either Friday, Saturday or Sunday just for day tickets. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do the draw quickly now before tonight's vlog. So let's see who's put it in um, and let's see who's won these tickets. Yeah, let's do it. So we asked you to put in Warners in capitals. So Mark's going to look uh, for that keyword. keyword. Let's mm -hmm. see how many entered. Two hundred and twenty. Yeah. So are you ready for this? We need a drum roll, don't we? <laughs> yeah. Brrr. I can't do that. Go on. Maria Wilson. We love watching your adventures. Hope you are feeling better soon, Mark. <laughs> so, Maria Wilson, you need to send us an email. Our details are in our YouTube main page, aren't they, for our yeah. email address? Drop us an email to info at novasontour.co.uk um, with your details. And we'll sort that out with you. And confirming that you can attend. But you must do this by Tuesday uh, so we can get it all sorted. Yeah, now the next load of uh, pair of tickets are for the daytime any day you need to let us know which day you can attend and this is going to let's have a look mr slugbait <laughs> mm -hmm. mr slugbait you need to do the same you've got till tuesday to contact us our email is in the description below our vlog so once you've done that we can sort it all out for you congratulations well guys done. but for now back to tonight's vlog and I hope you enjoy it. Because we're melting here, sat here in <laughs> hot heat here in yeah, Spain. Yeah, we're roasting, so we're off to get a cool drink. See you soon. down to the beach this in 1932 they built this tunnel so they could get from one side of Albufeira down to the bathing beach they call it look at this so it's stunning hot enough for your mark yeah it's getting warm now and i was just looking it was like a thing over there like an activity center oh wow it's an inflatable out at the sea isn't it oh i could just jump all over that <laughs> let's go and see if we can get a drink at one of these cafes yeah let's go break time the heat is really on now. I think it's, it's 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have these, grab the scooters and go back to the van and get Chico. We have left him with the aircon on. He's absolutely fine. And we've done what we needed to do. And we didn't want to bring him because the floor is hot. We've been doing the foot temperature this morning. It's getting hotter and hotter. So we're going to go back, chill. I've got some washing to do. Great stuff. And I've got some editing to do, haven't I? Yeah. And a bit of Googling to see what Chinese is for tonight. And then we're going to come out after tea, aren't we? A lot later after tea. It's about six, seven o'clock when everyone starts coming out. So, yeah, we'll fetch you back out with us tonight. It's like an air raid siren, Lisa. That was well scary, weren't it? I thought police were coming and it got louder and louder. I think everything's stopped, hasn't it? Well, it must mean that they've got to get ready and go for a fire. I'm assuming so, yeah. That was well loud, weren't it? I thought it was a motorbike coming. Yeah. And I think he's easily going to blow that up in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Are the doors open? Yeah. I think so, it's too open, isn't <laughs> it? Right, so we've just found out that that air raid siren, what we thought was an air raid siren. Well, I thought it was a motorbike. <laughs> It's actually a siren that they put out to call for the fire... Fire brigade people, isn't it? Yeah, because they're, they're all volunteers. So they've now put that out, so everyone who's a volunteer will be dropping everything and making their way to the fire station. But I'm worried, because while they're making their way here, getting changed, getting the engines out, something's on fire somewhere. Mm, they'll be coming shortly, won't they? So. Well, so that's me put the washing in. I'll come back in 30 minutes and it should be ready. I was going to show you the washing machine, but there's other people in there, so I'll come back and film in a minute when there's no one in there. The park is filling up nicely now, as you can see. They are doing a lot of work to it at the moment, shower wires and 
patioing all this lot out here so this time next year it's going to be really really nice six euros an hour though wow still can't get over that so we've come out for the evening now and we've just come to the what they call the viewing point yeah, yeah. and you can see why can't you but it's a bit windy up here isn't it cooler isn't it yeah, yeah. it seems really really busy a part of town this we'll probably be dead in the next hour because when it goes dark there'll be nothing to do up here there you go it's nearly set, isn't it? It's early here, yeah. don't yeah. compared to back home. I mean, what time is it now? Quarter past five. No, it's not. No, it's quarter past eight, so it'll be dark in about half an hour. Won't so it? you come away for your holidays, but you get less of a day. Further don't south, you? yeah, yeah. But it's worth it, isn't it? Better get Chico out of his little home. Here he is. Just had to wake him up. You love that little bed, don't you? <laughs> so yeah, we fetch Chico out with us tonight. It's a lot cooler on the night time. We don't fetch him out in the daytime. Yeah. We can't handle it, so how do you expect a little doggy to handle it as well? Yeah, Aunt Cheeks, what do you say? <laughs> so Mark thought these were actually people, but if it's, if you get, yeah, you did. What, they're standing there for so long, taking pictures? It's my, not. My sort of shape. Yeah, hey, stand next to her. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Cheeks? Look at this fish over here. It's yeah. not a fish, it's a tuna fish. It's an atom. What as bad as it got a fan on the back of it though? Mm -hmm. It's funny. Mark Scooter just nearly got taken by the Noddy train. <laughs> you should have known he were coming up here, Mark. <laughs> hey, you could have just grabbed the back of it, like back to the future, couldn't you? And he could have took us back up the hill. Yeah, this is where we've just come up to see the view and then you come a bit further along and there's not really much here just to tell you the truth. And stuff, aren't yeah. And hills. And more hills. <laughs> Look, we're right corner to wheels. Did you see how quickly it went round there then? Yeah. As you can see behind us, we've found another outdoor travelator or escalator. Is it an escalator? Travel out where, but we saw last time we saw one was Santander a few weeks ago yeah it? look at this it's like a double one look at that how cool is that so it takes you right from the bottom of the old town up to the terrace where you can see the sea view quite cool that isn't it but like you say mark what do they do if it rains it still works it must do it but it's electric welcome to the center of albufeira old town as you can see it's mega mega busy, well busy isn't it? <laughs> what time are we on now Quarter past nine. And everyone's eating and drinking. We have steak houses, kebab houses, Indians, but no Chinese. I've seen one, it's called Fuxing. Yeah, but it's outside of Alfreira, it's right on outskirts, so that isn't going to happen. That's not going to happen. So, yeah, we will go and show you around this crazy town of Alfreira. So, Mark's just been saying there's an Indian here, we're looking for Chinese, but that is a bit off putting straight across the road, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, it is. Mmm. Eating your onion barge and looking at that lot right across the road. Yeah, there's uh, food on the floor already. All the little critters have been, haven't they? So that's that was just one street behind the main drag where all the lights make it look very pretty. You wouldn't believe that were there, would you? After no. coming up here. It all looks really nice and flash down here. Just snipped in for a quick snifter. That is a fish ball of sangria <laughs> and you've got a lager I've got a lemon shandy <laughs> makes us so warm cheers everyone cheers again in a sunny sunny day already isn't it yeah and we have actually moved from yesterday we are now in Praia de Felicia yeah and it's on a uh, like a site like an RV park or a, it's, an it's an actually an air and it's called Algarve Motorhome Park here in Felicia yeah so. and it's massive it's the biggest air that we've ever seen 125 yeah. vans it has on here we are paying 
10.50. And the big pitches as well, aren't they? Massive so, pitches. And about two minutes walking, you're at the sea, aren't you? Yeah, it's lovely It's like beach. Grand Canyon up there. We'll show you later on today. Oh, oh, we went up quickly yesterday, didn't yeah. we? And I burnt myself in some. <laughs> um, it's really, really nice. Man. And we're about 30, 30 minutes, uh, 20 minutes from Albufera. Yeah, yeah. And today we're on going to the market. And we're going to a place we've never, ever heard of it before. Let us know in the comments below if you have. A place called Quartira. And it's just on from Villa Moor. Is it Villa Mora? Something like that, yeah. yeah. So we're going to go on the scooters. We've got Chico with us because it's too hot to leave them in the van. It's early yet, isn't it? The sun's yeah. just rising. We feel the heat in it already. Yeah, it is hot, hot, hot. So, come on. Pack it in. Let's go. So as you can see, we've made it to the market. We're absolutely roasting. That has just taken us. Google Maps has had us going in between every single street you could think of. Absolutely ridiculous. I think it's, what was it, about eight mile? It took us ages. Yeah, it's taking us all around the one way systems and stuff because we put it down for cycling. Ridiculous. We ended up putting it down for walking just to make it quicker. But yeah, as you can see, it's a busy market day. I hope there's some bargains to be had, but we can't get much back now because it's like eight mile away. So it's getting a bit quieter at market now because it's getting too hot. So it's it only finished finish about two o'clock in the afternoon, just like the Benidorm one. Yeah. Um, prices wise, not as cheap as Benidorm. We've got some stuff, haven't we? Yeah, yeah we've got a blanket for the beach, like a, a sheet that we can put down, and a beach bag. <laughs> so we've spent. 11 euros. Yeah, so it's something, some of the dresses were like 49 euros, weren't they? For yeah. Stuff that be about, we think about 12 euros. The, the ladies' clothing is not priced, so when you go and ask, they'll say 49 99 and you know for a fact it's not worth that, but they want you to haggle. But getting into a haggle with them, oh God, it's like, they won't leave you alone, will they? No. Not until you've bought it, so I don't even say anything to me, I don't give my contact. Yeah, but there's a lot of copied stuff as well, like t-shirts, trainers, like yeah. that. So we're going to head into town now, I think, aren't we? Find somewhere a bit cooler. Yeah, and a bit more, less manic. And just before we leave, this is a motorhome park up. With a dump station and everything in yeah, it to your it's toilet. A, it's absolutely, you, you come and park where you can. There's no set rule. It's, what, six euro? Six euros for 24 hours, yeah, so. Yeah, it's, uh, you just can't come on a Tuesday evening and stop till Wednesday, because obviously the market's on. So you'll know when you're in the right space because you'll see our sticker right there. So we came back to the campsite. Again, another really, really hot day. We needed some shade. Just had to wash the scooters off. They were absolutely filthy. We went down the dust road and oh my God, we were covered. We were just pure white. I've been in the shower. Mark's in the shower now. Um, I'll show you what we've got from the market in a minute, but I've been on Google and I've got a nice little surprise for Mark, so let's go and see what he's up to. He should be out of the shower, I hope. There he is. Let's watch his face. Mark? Have you had a shower? Yeah, just now. I'm still warm. What do you want for tea? Uh, kebab. There is no kebab shops here. I can go one better if you want me to. Get your shoes on. There's a Chinese restaurant five right. minutes away. Is it? Yeah, it's around the corner. Uh, Pan trees. I'm trying to cut down on Chinese. All right then, I won't take you then. Really, uh, is that where we're going for tea? Yeah, yeah right. I'll treat you. Shall I put my crocs on? No. Right, so yeah, get ready. Aren't you a lucky boy, eh? Again, this is with the mm. money that people have been sending. I know, we've got enough Chinese for tonight now, haven't we? Yeah, we have, yeah. Yep. Anyone who's interested, uh, that's the drone that I use, 249 grams DJI Mini 2. It's nothing special, but it does us, doesn't it? Yeah, you've been asking, a, uh, a lot of people have been asking, haven't they, about what drone you use. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if it's not, if a wind drops, we'll get it out, but it, it, it's uh, it's a bit dodgy if it's windy, it doesn't come back. Yeah. <laughs> well, there we go. Right, just while Mark's putting some decent trainers on, no Crocs, um, this is what we got today from the market. We got a beach bag, because we went to the beach yesterday and we had to carry everything. We were like amateurs, didn't we? Yeah, six euros. <laughs> and 
the lucky lucky man came round on the beach yesterday and we said we could do one of those for just sitting down instead of using our towels two meters be two meters isn't is it? that what it is yeah, so it's quite big and he wanted 15 euro didn't he to start with yeah and i said do you take cards he's like oh, no. yeah but then he says 10. i said we have no money, no money. guess how much we got this for today <laughs> five euro yeah oh were you bargaining on to or what and we didn't have to knock him down, he was just selling them. No, we were just selling everything really cheap, weren't it? We? we were a bit late getting to the market because it, it, it were a bit of a mission, wasn't it? To yeah, the least. we said earlier on, didn't dusty we? Dusty track and everything else. Uh, I just said we had to wash his scooters off because they were yeah. filthy. And I got some bracelets, pottery bla bracelets, one euro each. So yeah, there is a few bargains there, but there's not a lot. No, no. Not no. as good as Benidorm, is it? No. So contrary to belief, I'm always ready first. Mark always said I'd be five minutes and I'm always waiting and here I am again waiting Chico's not amused that we're going out are ya? Yeah. We're going to be about an hour Cheeks just going to go and get something to eat and we will be back and I need to vac that van these little stones on this side they're getting everywhere aren't they? Oh you ready? Yeah I'm alright Are you sure? Five minutes has turned into fifty what is it every time we come abroad? Oh, it's warm, like it's going to be freezing. Right, let's go there. Suffer a Chinese. Suffer a Chinese? Yeah. You don't have to go if you don't want to, you know. I'm not that bothered, to be honest. What, do you fancy a salad instead? Mm, some of that long green stuff. What's that? Yeah, cucumber. <laughs> I looked at reviews on that where we got in. It's got said ducks nights as well. Duck? Yeah. You never get duck. Well, we'll go and have a look and we'll show you when we get there. Sign of a good Chinese restaurant where you get soy sauce in a bowl, all that there. Yes, we've made it to the Chinese. We've just ordered um, and we've gone for shredded beef, crispy shredded beef. Peking style. Yeah. Something different. You yeah. don't normally have that, do you? Yeah. A prawn foo young portion of chips and a chicken fried rice of course. And we're all going to share it aren't we? Yeah. We're, we're going to get gonna some prawn crackers dips. in a minute. Yeah. Always sign of a good Chinese if you get some prawn crackers to start with isn't it? Yeah. And they never last when your mains come with you do they? Thank you. Mm. What have you got there then? Oh yeah. Food. Omelette. That's Sorry. different isn't it? It's like an omelette isn't it? Yeah. That's your crispy beef, beef innit? You've got rice and chips. It's come yet. Nom nom nom. Chips. Thank, Thank you. And chicken fried rice. Lovely. Thank Brilliant. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you happy? Yeah. Where's yours? I am done. Mark's carrying on. Oh, I'm full. Are you full? You're not done too bad. It's a good job it's not all you can eat then, is it? Nice, aren't it? Very nice. Too so young were a bit different, like an omelette, weren't it? Yeah, just like an omelette. What too so young is omelette? Yeah. What is the restaurant called, Mark? Uh, Pine View. Pine View. I'll give you a hint as to why it's called Pine View. The view is all pantries. It's a very nice restaurant and the staff are really, really good. We recommend you come here if you're staying in Felicia or in the Try de Felicia. Yeah, yeah. If you're staying around here, get yourself down. It's nice, and it? it's, it's the best one we've had yet. We've not had much Chinese, have we? Really? No, no, no. And if, if Mark's recommending it, you know it's good. Yeah, it's like more or less like back home, isn't it? It's got Mark's seal of approval. Whilst we're thinking on, we have got a couple of thank yous to give out as well. Uh, Sarah Parker, again, you've got Mark Chinese. You, so that, that, I'm only really going to be getting fat, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> that money will be going towards this meal. Thank you very much. Thank you. As well as buying me coffees and Chico more treats. Mm -hmm. You are a little darling. Thank you so much. Uh, Jewels, Stoke on Trent. This couple contacted me asking how they could say thank you for the lovely vlogs that we put out. And I do appreciate the 10 coffees you've sent to us. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. And Tina and Mark Bell have bought Chico some treats. 
and he's, he's got... Oh, we've spent his treats here tonight, haven't we? No, we haven't. He got a treat today. He got actually a little ball, a tennis ball, and he's loving it, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, we got it from the market, didn't we? And someone bought me a coffee and Chico a treat, but you've not left your name. I have sent you a message. Can you let me know what your name is? And then I can give you a shout out on the vlog. Well, if you do want to remain anonymous, that's absolutely fine. Thank you very much for your support. And to everyone, the thanks again. We really appreciate it, don't we? We do. Especially when I can come out and offer food like this. And as if by magic, five minutes just down the road on the scooter, we are at the beach. And oh my God, why do we always find these death defying drops where Mr. Bump here can actually fall or something? Look There's at some this. There's roots to trip over there, aren't they? Isn't it? Yeah, just you stay with me. No, and he's not got his crocs on, so he's not going anywhere. But here's our view. Look at that. I'll just go a bit forward. You stay there. Oh, stop it. <laughs> oh. Look at that. Where are you going? Do not go any closer. It's like Grand Canyon, isn't it? That's what we were saying before. Yeah, it's the same kind of <laughs> rock, isn't it? The colours. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? It's, we, we came down here yesterday, didn't we? But we didn't film it. No, uh, it's no. It's freezing cold, isn't it? It's like it's, Blackpool. What, what sea is it? It's, it's an ocean, Mark. Um, Atlantic, isn't it? I Correct. Think, yeah. And it is very cold. As you can see, people don't swim out too far because it, it just takes your breath away. But so you need it in the heat like this. And again, mobility wise, there's a lot of steps to get down and get back up if you do go down to this beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There isn't this shed loads of steps. We've just put our sticker up here somewhere. So if you do come, have a look for it and let me know if you find it. Don't be too close. <laughs> Mark, stop, don't go so close. You're driving me nuts. There's roots hanging out of the floor, eh? Yeah, that's a trip hazard. But I'm not joking. There's one there as well. But I don't, I don't get any closer. If I put the camera over, guys, that's the drop. It'll all be fenced off back home, won't it, all that? Yeah, It'll health and safety off. will be in, in uh, screaming mode, won't they? Well, they would with this one anyway. Five o'clock in the morning, Chico's freaking out, and we've uh, got an infestation of mosquitoes. Oh, I didn't get a year, That's fine. They're full of blood as well, Mark. They're yeah. full of blood. Probably are flipping blood. Let's have a look at tissue. That's mad, that. I bet that's our blood, isn't it? Mm. You're all up there. Where are you? I'm doing that. We were only saying, weren't we, that there's not uh, not too many uh, insects down here. It's too warm. But well, good morning. A very, very early good morning. Chico was going crazy about half an hour ago. What time is it now, Mark? Uh, half five. So five o'clock. Absolutely would not rest. It's not like him not to rest on the bed. Darting around, wasn't he? Yeah, we've put the light on and we've got an infestation of mosquitoes, believe it or not. They were everywhere. They were on, on. as soon as we put the light on, you could see them dotted around the side of the walls. Um, I mean, the first one I caught just exploded with blood, so I'm just hoping that it's not mine or Mark's or Chico's blood. Or else we're going to, in the next few hours, we're going to be coming up in bats. The thing is, we're left over because it's red hot here, isn't it? It is. We're in um, Farrow. Farrow now. We've moved down to Farrow and it's red hot. It's been hot all night, hasn't it? Um, yeah. We've left all the vents and the fly screens open because it lets air flow in better. Big um, mistake. We've come in during the night, haven't we? So I've been wafting my electric bat around. We've caught about, what, 10, 16. 15? Yeah. But you just can't go back to sleep because you just know that there's more in here and you can't find the little buggers. They're you everywhere. And one will fly out, won't it? So. They freak Chico out. He will not sleep. He's, he's up on my chair at the he's moment. Cause, yeah, he's just he's just look, constantly looking around, aren't you, Chico? Oh, it's like he can hear them. God, I'm absolutely shattered. Worst night of sleep ever. Well, it started off at four o'clock. 
delivery truck. We parked in Lidl, by the way, in Faro, so thanks to Lidl for letting us stay over for free. We can't really complain, but delivery truck with the refrigerated food stuff on it, it's just running for an hour, isn't it? Like, yeah. right next to it, so. <laughs> we put these parking spaces right next to the loading bay. Every Lidl we stayed in, they've done it now, haven't they? And this better space. We should have probably moved last night and then moved this morning. Mm. But there you go. If we stay here today, we will overnight. But this was the only place we could get a reception to send the, oh. upload the vlog yesterday. <laughs> So we ended up staying, but we, we found out it's right next to a swamp. It's a massive swamp as well, it's huge. So we will be shifting today. Um, the time is like, it's more says half past five now. We're gonna get ready uh, before it gets too hot again. Go into Faro, see what we can find there. And then we'll, I think we're looking for a campsite, aren't we? Because- Yeah, it's warm, it's, I think it's, it's down warm. here. Because now we're at the southern tip of Portugal. Portugal, it's like 30. 30, well, the weather says it's 30 degrees, but in your van, no matter what you do, it's about 34, isn't it? Well, so. it said it was just, it's 20, it's just gone up now, 29 outside and 25 in here. It's warming up already, it's sun's yeah. warming up. Yeah, so. because it was 27 when I got up, up past that. We do have the aircon machine, we've depleted the batteries, we're having, because it's so warm, we've got the extra freezer cool box you saw in the previous video. We're uh, running a lot on electric, can't we? But it's use, we're using, that's probably using 80 amp hour a day, I would have thought, at least the battery power. Um, because it's so warm, it's just running all the time. So. Oh, look. You're still freaking out, Jakes. You're a good mosquito finder, aren't you? You are.